And this is the ETS 3000 control by AccuPress. A uh, couple things I want to just point out. What's really great about this control, it is Windows compatible, so everything that I'm showing you here can be done offline on a PC. Uh, one of the nice features with the ETS 3000, it is a graphics control. What's nice about a graphics control is before you even bend the part, you can physically see what's happening with the part before you make it. Here we're showing a side profile of the part. You show the die holder, the die, the punch. The black line represents the material before it's bent, and the shaded line shows you the part afterwards. This part is a simple little part. I don't know if you can see that. It's a U-shaped part. And we're going to go back and just simulate it. There's bend one of two. And when we go and bend the second bend, it will show you that you have interference with the punch. Now, what we can do is we can also use this as a design tool. We can go into the part, go into the size. That's a two-inch leg. And that dimension there is 2.5. We could change that to 2.8 save our changes and see what happens if we have any interference. So there's been one of two and been two of two will show you that you don't have any interference. So it's a great way to, to determine uh, if the machine or the tooling can do it before you make the part. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this part here. What's nice about the graphics, if you do not have graphics in making this part, the first thing you're going to have to decide is what bend sequence do you want to do? Which bend do you want to do first? Which bend do you want to do second? In the graphics, you don't do that. All you do is tell it the tools, describe the part, and the control will figure out the bend sequence and take care of all your bend allowances. So on this control here, you have about 10 buttons across the top here. We're going to do a new program, so we're just going to touch new. There's four ways to program this part. Uh, older machines used to program only in position mode. They later came out to an angle mode. And now we offer two more, which is drawing and DXF. We're going to do this part in drawing. If we had an AutoCAD file, we could just import the DXF file, just tell it the tools, and it would automatically program it. So drawing is highlighted, so I'm just going to go into the drawing mode. And basically, there's just wizards. The screen's going to ask you a question, and you're going to answer it and just go on to the next page. First thing it wants to know is what type of punch you're going to use, and you would have a library of all the punches that you own in your shop. The punch that we're using here is this wheel of punch, so I'm going to highlight it and hit next. Next it's asking for what type of RAM extension the machine has. Well, we're using a Wheela hydraulic clamping device, so we're going to pick the RAM extension of Wheela. And then what type of die, and again you'd have all your library of your tools that you have. We're using a Wheela die. And then what type of die holder? We're using an AccuCrown device that automatically crowns the bottom of the bed for shimming. So we pick that. And now it's asking us, do you want to use other tools to make this part? In this example, we do not need any other tools, so I'm just going to answer no. Now, next thing it wants to know is just information about the part. Uh, we will call this part Demo 100. And here it wants to know the material. You notice as I scroll up and down, this message will flash up. It's telling me what to do. Press enter to show the list of material. The machine is shipped with, lists, with this list of material. We can add to this list, we can edit this list, and we could also delete it. So the material that we're going to use is A36 sheet steel. And then the next question it wants to know is the gauge. And again, it says press enter to show the gauge. You could pick from the list, or you could actually type in the dimension if you wanted to. Now, the blank length is the flat pattern of the part. We don't know that. We're going to have the control do it. And the blank width is how narrow the bending length is. And we're using a coupon blank of 5 inches. Now, it will ask you other information, how, much it, how long it takes to set it up, how long it takes to run it, who the customer is, who the contact where your tools are set up. And then also, on each program, you get a little notepad. And you can put information on the program, and it gets stored with the program. You may want to uh, maybe put something on here. Brush job. Uh, bend the material with the coating side up if you're using coated stainless steel. So this information gets stored. So. 
I've picked the tools, I've told them information about the job, I'm about 80% done, I'm just going to go to the next page, and now what it wants me to do is to draw this profile on this little rectangular section of the screen, and I'm going to use my arrow to draw this part, and think of that arrow as a pencil, and that rectangular area as a piece of paper. So to start, I just hit enter, and what I want to do is I just want to draw a little line going down. I hit enter, so that black line represents this line here. Now I want to move over to the right a little bit. Now I'm at this point, now I want to move down and over, enter, over takes me to this point, bringing it up vertically brings me to that point, and then back over brings me to this point. At this point, I don't worry about the dimensions that's on my print here. I just want to get my shape. I go ahead and hit next. Now I fill in the actual length from my drawing. It defaults to an outside to outside dimension. I could switch from inside to inside, and I could toggle in between those two choices through my entire part. So my length, if I'm looking at here, this part is 0.75. It's asking me for the angle. It's 90, so I could accept that. The length here is 4.120. The angle there is 135. The next length is 1.750. Angle of 135. That length is 3 inches. That angle is 90. Vertical length of that leg is 2 inches, 90 degrees, and that last flange is 0.8. So now, this part is dimensioned exactly to my print over here. This is showing you now the exact flat pattern because it knows the material, it knows the tooling, it knows the bend radiuses, and those lines are now my bend lines. So now I'm done with this, I'm gonna go next, and it's asking me do I have a width profile, do I have side flanges on this part? It, in this example, I do not, so I just answer no. If it did have side flanges, I would answer yes. So the last thing that needs to be done is the sequence. Here are all my bend lines. We need to know what's the bend order. As I mentioned, the machine or the control does it automatically. So I'm just going to zoom up here, and we're going to get hit auto, and it's going to calculate a bend sequence. So this part is ready to go. <clears throat> there are five bends, and it has automatically programmed all of these dimensions for all five bends. Now what's nice about this is I could physically look at each bend and verify that it is a good sequence. There is bend one, there is bend two, there is bend three. Now this machine has R axis where the fingers could move up and down, uh, which would allow me to bend this part, although it might be hard to gauge off that point. So I'm just going to flip the part around and we have a feature on this machine called sheet support and I'm just going to turn it on and you notice the finger went ahead and cupped on that sheet there or on that point. So bend three looks good. I'm going to go to bend four. That looks good and bend five looks good. I'll go back to bend four and I'll go to the support and I'm going to turn it on. You notice it'll give you a warning. It tells you that it can't do that because if the finger dropped down and move in it would hit the die. So this part has been proven on the screen. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now I'm ready to run it. I'm going to turn the hydraulics on and go ahead and run the part. And that part matches the drawing.